In this video, we're going to use the hypotenuse leg theorem in order to actually prove that triangles are congruent. So here we are given uh, that segment HM and segment IC are congruent, that segment HM and segment IC are parallel, and that segment IC is perpendicular to segment MC. And finally, that point F is the midpoint of segment HI. So let's see how this looks. Let's start with some given information. We know that segment HM is congruent to segment IC. We also are given that point F is the midpoint of segment HI. Now I'm going to use the definition of midpoint here to prove that segment HF is congruent to segment IF. So now we have two congruent sides in this triangle. Now a really quick thing here, I'm going to use that segment HM is parallel to segment IC. That's given. That's going to be important to us. I'm not sure why. And we're also given that IC is congruent to segment MC. Oh, I see what's happening here. Since the lines are perpend... Hmm. Since segment HM is parallel to segment IC, and IC is perpendicular to MC, we can use the perpendicular transversal theorem to say that segment HM is perpendicular to segment MC. Ow! Oh, now that we have these perpendicular thingy-majigs here, we know that we have two right triangles by the definition of perpendicular and the definition of right triangles. That also makes segment HF and segment IF hypotenuses of right triangles, and then we have legs. Oh wow, by the hypotenuse leg theorem, we know that triangle HMF is congruent to triangle ICF, which also means that I'm not done here. Oh. By the definition of congruent polygons, that segment MF is congruent to segment CF, and by the definition of bisector, segment HI bisects segment MC. Now hopefully you played this video and listened to it so you understand the flowchart proof. If you didn't listen to this or play it clear through, you're probably confused and crazed. But it's always nice to listen to things to help make sense of it, isn't it? Now you're going to do a proof on your own using the hypotenuse leg theorem, and there's one more video for you.